And uh, honestly, I sympathize with you if you will not be able to be in Abiyakuta because you are going to miss so much because it is uh, laden with so many, uh, you know, things that could be beneficial to able person that will attend. Now, the theme for <coughs> the week is uh, leveraging public relations potentials for economic recovery. And uh, our elder sister <coughs> has made reference to the fact that everything is predicated on the economic well-being of any society. And public relations has that potential to, you know, ignite the economic recovery of this country. Hence, uh, the modification ideally is supposed to be an annual general meeting of the Public Relations Institute in Nigeria, but it has been modified to make it Public Relations Week because it is all encompassing uh, so many things. Now we have a convergent point, not just necessarily the practitioners of public relations or the spokesperson, no. Uh, it is a convergence of both public and private sector in the sense that uh, we are focusing more on the economic uh, recovery of this country to see to what extent public relations could be used to enhance the economic recovery of this country. Hence, uh, uh, quite a number of uh, personalities, both from private and public sectors, are uh, lined up to speak, and there could be there will be cross fertilization of ideas. And it is not just about Nigeria. And one interesting fact is that the chairman of the organizing committee is no other person than the president of African Public Relations Association, who is a Nigerian, Yomi Badajo, who has been in public relations for over three decades, internationally recognized. And uh, again, there is partnership between the private sector, the public sector, and the Institute of Public Relations. So quite a number of things. But beyond that, again, uh, thematic issues and all the rest, there will be, uh, you know, this side attractions. For instance, where I emphasize in, in fact, uh, very soon we shall have the 61st anniversary of the Institute of Public Relations. And part of it is that, just like Professor has said and others have alluded, nobody will develop this country other than Nigerians themselves. So we are encouraging people to also buy in Nigerian products to see to what extent we can enhance and promote things that are really, you know, contaminous or indigenous to Nigerians that not just for the Nigerians themselves, but international market. Hence, other people outside the country are equally invited to also attend. So, and then, of course, there are products. Take, for instance, there will be a drill walk away. And, of course, you know, there are other <coughs> side attractions in Ogun State, you know, that people will visit and all the rest of the things. So, it is a whole pack thing. But most importantly, again, people should understand that public relations profession, unlike any other profession in this country, is devoid, uh, devoid of these extraneous variables of, the, you know, either religious or ethnicity. There is no branch of public relations that is for Muslim or Christian. You are either a member of Nigerian Institute of Public Relations or not. So that unlike other professions, you I don't want to mention them, you have this. But basically, the only divisions we have, we, we are now encouraging younger professionals and the professional sectors. Take, for instance, you know, the sectors of the economy, the energy and all the rest. We have the public relations sectors and sector and we have the young professional sector and so on and so forth. So basically, that it is what it is all about. And... Um, Beyond that also, there are other issues that are lined up to be discussed, to be, you know, coming out with a template that will be a kind of roadmap that will enhance, you know, national economic recovery using the public relations. And, you know, this is a long, I mean, is it, is a, do I say climax of uh, conscientious efforts over the years. Take for instance, uh, Professor has made reference to uh, the national summit that was held, uh, you know, on uh, national unity, peace and security in this country by the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations. And it came out with a 100 and uh, 
I think 106 or so page document called Reboot in Nigeria. It's a kind of template and we are keen in with other bodies. Take for instance the Ministry of Information and Culture and of course most importantly the National Orientation Agencies because we have all the potential to see how best we can. And giving back the, 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 the national spokesperson submit that beyond the individual spokespersons or representations of their respective institutions first and foremost both the private and public sectors converge together now you can only talk about institutions you can talk about this when you have nigeria so now everybody is given a sense of belonging to promote nigeria first then you go back to the various companies or institutions you represent because in most instances people have been speaking in, at cross purposes and you cannot have development if there is no proper communication and this is the missing link and that is what we are trying to establish to enhance economic recovery in this country.